between here, insert giant <laughs> yellow letters over a starry backdrop. Okay. Tensions are stretched thin between two nations as the true republic and the order of the Templar grow ever closer to breaking a peace treaty that has kept order in the galaxy for a mere two years. The true republic, a powerful nation protected only by the powerful Jedi, struck oh, peaceful nation protected only by the powerful Jedi, struggle to keep order with their enemies known as the Order of the Templar. Whereas the Order of the Templar, a cruel nation twisted and corrupted by the dark side of the Force, want nothing but to destroy the true Republic and rule the galaxy. Made up. Um, the temple in question was made of stone and very weathered. Decapitated statues wearing elegant stone robes stood outside, guarding the temple and showed evidence of one's bearing code. But he was not here for sightseeing. The man in black robes with a hood shadowing his face walked into the temple. It was here. He could feel it. The force was flown through it and it called to him. An armored guard nearby recognized the distinct robes that the man wore and leapt into action, pulling a blaster to the man's head. Darth Magnus, in the name of the true Republic, you are hereby under arrest, the guard said a little too triumphantly. Really? Must I resort to violence? Darth Magnus replied, smirking beneath his hood as he whipped out a thin metal rod quickly flipping its switch as a long red tent girl emerged from it, humming with power. Then before the guard could even react, the light whip had tangled around the guard's throat, burning his flesh. You knew what I came here for, Darth Magnus sneered. Now where is it? I I pledge my allegiance to the, the true republic, the guard rasped. Darth Magnus rolled his eyes and pulled hard on the whip, severing the man's head from the rest of his body. More guards came from their posts, firing their blasters, but Darth Magnus simply reached out, using the force to send the laser blast back at themselves. He had to work fast. The Jedi would be here soon. Darth Magnus stood still for a minute, letting his anger and rage flow through him in the force. Then he found it. Yes, he murmured. He slowly walked forward until he was directly in the middle of the symbol on the floor, which represented the light side of the force. Then he called once more upon the Force, visualizing his prize in his hand, and in his mind, seeing it break through the ground with a tremendous force that shook the whole temple. And finally, he had it in hand as a Jedi reached the temple. Darth Magnus, stand down, said the light-skinned Jedi wearing brown robes. Darth Magnus let out a long, menacing laugh. Lish Manel, he said, spitting out the words. Jedi scum. Have you not yet realized that you pitiful Jedi are simply foot soldiers of the Republic? Puppets made to fight their wars for them. Darth Magnus had activated the ancient realm that he had recently acquired just mere moments ago. It emitted a jet black saber, ending in a sharp edge that seemed to suck in the light around it as if it emitted its light form. Manel activated his lightsaber that emitted long, pulsing yellow round. They ran at each other full speed, their sabers gliding in great balls of light. They soon came at each other once more at equal force, neither pulling away. That is, until the Jedi gasped as he could no longer see his blade, as Darth Magnus seemed to suck away the light. Darth Magnus saw his chance and ended the battle abruptly and plunged his dark saber into Manel's chest. I'm afraid, Manel, Darth Magnus said, as the Jedi lay on the ground gasping for his last breaths, despite all the soldiers trying to save him, that I do not have time for such foolish matters, as I have a nation to destroy. And with that, Darth Magnus went to his personal fighter, Jet the Solion, and flew off into the vast darkness of space. I can lose my mind, lose my mind. Swear, young boy, about to lose his mind. If I swear, mind of applause could make you the only person lying down at your standing ovation. Forever be your God.